water y'all now today i couldn't get my camera angles right i need a bigger kitchen or a better tripod so what i'm doing is i'm using my tripod sort of as a gopro stick all right so today's recipe we are doing in time for well more than in time for halloween see this halloween is next month but however we are doing harry's halloween hours say that three times with holding your tongue hell 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 anywho um, so today's ingredients is very basic we need peanut butter flour i've obviously gone with the gluten free for the puppies and pumpkin good old audi's brands boop, boop. not the pumpkin today but don't tell anyone so all you need to do is chop that pumpkin you need to make you need to chop enough to make half a cup no a full cup sorry of pumpkin puree so i will do that I will chop and I'll show you how I go. I sort of got my angles right. Chop it, chop hey. So, you need a big fuck off knife. Pardon my French. But it's Halloween. Alright. Also, I'm going to chop with it with the skin on because it's easier to remove uh, when it's cooked. Boyaka sha. Now, what I'm going to do now is parboil them, which I'm going to cheat, use the microwave. So I'm just going to put them all in a big microwaveable bowl and bung it in the oven. Obviously, put water in the set bowl. Bung it in the oven. Hey, puppies. Bung it in the oven for about 10 minutes. Check this out. That's my heart noise. Uh oh, camera's fogged. And I'm back. So I want to stick a fork through, and they want to go through like that. So that's perfect. So grab this in your hand into your strainer. Stay back because it's foggy. Chuck that anywhere it lands. Go back in for a wipe. And let that shit cool. Okay, I'm back. I've peeled the pumpkin, stuck it in the fruit processor, gave it a little whiz beforehand just to make sure I had it all present and correct. And blend that. Let's see. Oh, yummy. I'd say that's pureed enough. So half a cup of peanut butter. Looks a bit gross, but it was pretty hard getting it out of the tub. What diddles? Can I help you? Someone's impatient for their biscuits. As you can, as you can see, I tried to get it out with a cake icing thingy. Didn't really work, so I got into it with a fork. Um, doesn't this look appealing already? I tell you, I forgot how hard peanut butter can be to work with. Anyway, that was, or is, my half a cup of peanut butter. Um, I've gone with Crunchy. That's only because that's the only brand or the only texture one I buy. Uh, if I was going to buy peanut butter purely for this recipe or any other recipes for dogs, I would go smooth. Alright, here is my cup of pumpkin puree. Excuse the edges. I thought, why should I waste water, wash another cup, 
when I can just use the peanut butter one. All right, beautiful. Now look, I've still got some left, so I can so I can use the rest of the mash if I want to make the dog some tuna patties instead of mashed potato, or even with some mashed potato, I can do the mash um, pumpkin puree. Anywho. Now I need to get the flour together. Hello Poodle. Are you waiting for the ball? No? Okay, so I've already put in one cup of flour and my third. So this is going to be the fun part, stirring it all. Stay tuned. Check this out. As you can tell, I got a bit bored with. I'm using my glad bake. I got from Rip Paw Paw. 